Ugiro Viraj. President Paul Kagame held a meeting with Patrick Poyen, the chairman and the CEO of the Total Energies, following which they witnessed the signing of an MOU between the Rwanda Development Board and Total Energies to develop collaboration in various sectors. Before meeting President Kagame, Patrick Poyan held a business forum with some members of the Rwanda's private sector. The forum aimed at exploring areas of collaboration between Total Energies and companies from Rwanda. The CEO of Rwanda Development Board, Claire Kamanzi, says the company's presence in Rwanda has far-reaching benefits. And Total Energies is building on a very good relationship that Rwanda has with the country they come from, which is France. I think we've uh, built an excellent relationship over the last few years, and we're building on that even for businesses to follow and build partnerships within Rwanda. So we've had discussions over the last few weeks with Total Energies for them to come and bring the expertise here, whether it's distribution, petrol stations of energy, uh, renewable energy, conservation, and many other areas that they're interested in. So it's really exciting to see that a global leader that Total Energies is, is considering Rwanda, and we will do everything that we can to make sure that they find this attractive and they set up in Rwanda. The CEO of Total Energies praised Rwanda's progress and efforts in the use of renewable energy, citing the example of electric motors. He described the move as accelerating the pace of investment in Rwanda. I want to see the brands of Total Energy some stations before summer around Kigali and then to deploy it in the country. I think what we want to offer to Rwanda customers is uh, some new retail stations with, uh, of course, good quality service, but also uh, finding their different sources of energies, including uh, charging points for their motorcycle tomorrow or for their cars. So I think that's a new concept. But we want also to bring... Uh, I would say some clean energy to Rwanda. That's the other idea, you know, uh, going to carbon neutrality. The government is willing to be also at the forefront of the clean energy. So LPG, for example, for cooking, you know. Uh, and then, of course, looking to other opportunities in the field of renewable energies. Uh, for example, we are looking to some micro hydro projects uh, in which we could invest. Uh, but what we also want to do and to come to Rwanda is because you have some good companies and you know we have large projects in the region uh, in Mozambique in Uganda and we'd like to engage Rwanda companies to come and in work on our projects as well in order to share value with them about all of these projects we develop. The private sector finds that coming to Rwanda for Total Energies will enable them to learn from its expertise, thus help them to expand their operations in and out of Rwanda. Eric Mutaganda, the chairperson of the Rwanda Petroleum Importers Association, also says Total Energies will help increase the consumption of LPG cooking gas in the country. Total Energies coming in Rwanda, it's a very good thing for the industry and for the country. As I have said in the, in the, in the meeting, First of all, Rwanda is uh, going towards green energy, so we are really encouraging big companies to come, and Total is committed to do that. So the consumption of uh, LPG is around 8 to 10 percent in Rwanda, so with the, the coming of Total, it will help us to even to reach 50 percent in the near future. That's point number one. Point number two, it gives the industry more strength and uh, more expertise and uh, more visibility. So we hope Total, the brand Total, it will enhance the image of our industry in Rwanda. The CEO of Total Energies and his entourage also visited the Kigali Genocide Memorial at Jisozi to pay homage to the victims of the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi. French company Total Energies currently operates in 40 countries in Africa and 130 countries worldwide.